Picking a costume. What will you wear on Halloween? That is a secret. I won't tell until Halloween comes. Just tell me. Why? I can help you see if your costume is right for you. All right. Come here because I'll speak softly. Okay. I'll dress up as a vampire. Vampires need to be cool. I'm so cool. Let's dress up like a pumpkin. It suits you better. What about your costume? I'll be the queen of the night. You suit the black back costume better. What did you say? Petting zoo. I'm so excited. Children come here a lot. Because we love animals. There is many different animals. Which animal do you want to visit first? Sheep. They are so cute. Yes, I like them. Let's come and feed the miniature donkeys. Those are bunnies. Yes, let's go there. They're too cute, Sam. I want a pet. What pet do you want? A bunny. Okay, but first you have to learn how to take care of them. I will. Mom is mad. Let's play it again. But is mom home yet? Mom is at Aunt Linda's house now. I think we need to clean the room. We will, but not now. I bought you pizza. Can I come in? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What are you two doing? Why is the room so messy? Calm down, Mom. Clothes were thrown around, dirty socks on the bed, crumbs all over the floor, and there are many ants. Get up and clean your room now. Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Father's Day. What are you doing? I'm preparing breakfast for Dad. What do you want to cook? Tomato soup, but I don't know how to make it. Don't worry, I'll show you. How about the second dish? Do you have any suggestions? Eggs and bacon. I can fry eggs. Wonderful. Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day! Wow. Try the egg. I fried it for you. It must be delicious. Yorn woke up early to prepare breakfast for you. Thanks, my son. Mm. This is the best fried egg in the world. The baby sister. What's the results, Dad? A baby boy or a baby girl? 
Would you like to have a baby brother or a baby sister? I don't know, Mom. Open this box. You will know the answer. Really? Baby in this box? No, there is a ball in it. If the ball is blue, Mom is pregnant with a boy. If the ball is pink, Mom is pregnant with a girl. It's interesting. Okay, I open it. It's pink. Yes. Yeah, I have a baby sister. Sometimes you lose. The winner of this piano competition is Tiffany. <laughs> hey, honey. Mom. Come here. I'm not good enough. No, you're very good. Your performance is amazing. But I don't win. Music or piano is not for winning or losing. That is, people feel relaxed and comfortable or healing when they hear you play. Really? Everyone stood up and clapped when you finished your performance. Remember? I remember that moment. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. It's okay. What matters is how you progress. Thank you, Mom. A new home. Don't want to see the new home? I don't like the city, buildings, crowded people. I miss the countryside, the sheep, and my friends. When we have free time, we'll go to the countryside. Buildings also have a lot of interesting things. You can explore them. You can make new friends in this city. Yes. This weekend, Let's go to the pet shop to take care of a lovely puppy. Really, Dad? Of course. We need to go inside and help Mom. Okay, Dad. Welcome here. My house is opposite yours. Hi, I'm Jack. Hello. Call me Will. A lot of ants. There are a lot of ants on the ground. I guess they are looking for food. They are eating crumbs. They like crumbs. They don't seem to eat. They come and take the crumbs. Where do they bring the food back, Grandpa? I guess they bring food back to their family in their cave. You're right. I'll find the ants' cave. Why? They're too small. We can step on them. I'll leave crumbs in front of their cave. Do you want to join? Of course. Let's go and find the ant cave. What are you going to do this weekend? We're free this weekend. Yes, I'm so excited. What are you going to do this weekend? Let me think.
Go shopping. Shopping? Great. How about you? What will you do? I'm not sure. Ah,、uh, I want to go to see a movie. Are there any great films this weekend? Yes, there is. What is that? Spider Man. I saw the trailer last week. Oh, I love this one. This trailer is so attractive. Right. So, can we go together? Of course. Good idea. Do you want to have a cup of coffee after that? Great. Did you sleep okay last night? Are you okay? You look so tired. I'm not good. Why? Did you sleep okay last night? No, I'm so tired right now. What happened? I went to bed at eleven thirty. I was so sleepy. Did you sleep from that time? Yes. But one hour later, a group of people downstairs were so noisy. What did they do? I think they held a party at night, and the music was so loud I couldn't sleep. Poor you. I called for the person who lives in this house, but nothing changed. So, did you stay awake last night? Yes. Oh, that's so terrible. A window seat or aisle seat. Are you going to Chicago today? Yes. Can I see your ticket? Of course. Here you are. Oh, you bought it online. Great. That's right. Do you want to choose the seat, a window seat, or aisle seat? I prefer the window seat. Okay. You can see the view through the window. I love that, but an aisle seat isn't a problem. Well, window seats are available. Great. Yeah, many people said they want to have a window seat. Right. The train will start at ten minutes. Pay attention to the time. I remember. You seem to look happy today. Hi, Anna. What happened? You seem to look happy today. Yes, I'm so happy right now. Why? You can't believe it. I'm so curious about that. I won the lottery. <gasps> oh my God! Really? Yes, I can't believe that. How? I just bought it by accident, and all of a sudden, I won the lottery. I never thought of this. How much did you win? Five thousand dollars. Amazing, Anna! You're so lucky. 
That's right. Is English difficult? Andrea, I need some advice from you. Sure. I want to learn English more. Yes, but are you learning English? Yes, I am. But I mean, now I'm learning to communicate in daily life. And do you want to learn deeply? Right. I am from India, and I want to study more in the USA. Okay, I see. So you need to be a master of English. Exactly, like you. Is English difficult? It's not if you are hard working. How did you learn? I'm a Korean, so it's quite hard at first. But after two years, I can use English as a native one. You're so talented. So you need to study hard. That's all. Thank you so much. I'll bet you're excited. You look so happy now. What's that? I'll bet you're excited. What? You're excited when you know this good news. You make me curious. Have you heard that Justin Bieber is gonna have a concert next week? Of course, I'm a big fan of his. Have you bought the ticket? Not yet. It's sold out. And here, I got a couple of tickets for this concert. Oh dear! Really? Is that true? Sure. My friend gave me it as a gift, and I know you really want it. Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe it. We will go together. I'm so excited about it. Me too. Date and month. Date and month often appear in daily communication. Let's watch this video and learn how to say them correctly. I misremembered my interview date. Good morning, Rachel. Hi, John. Why did you get up so early today? Ah,、uh, I have an interview today. It is the company which I have always desired to work at since I was a student at university. Congratulations and good luck, John. Always be confident and do your best. I believe you will pass this interview. Thank you, Rachel. I'm ready for it. Last night I prepared very carefully for it, and also went to bed early to keep my mind clear. Oh. <laughs> Good job, John. By the way, are you free now? Could you help me with something? Yes, I am fairly free now. What do you want, John? I need to choose one suitable outfit for the interview. Which one do you think will be okay, Rachel? Can you try this blue shirt and gray tie? This combination can make you look more elegant and confident. Okay, Rachel. <gasps> What do I look like now? 
Good, you are so handsome. <laughs> Thanks. I will go now. Bye, Rachel. Good luck, my friend. Oh, John, why do you come back home so early? How was your interview? I'm a loser, Rachel. I misremembered the interview date. I came to the company on time, but when I called for human resources, he said that the interview had been held on March 25th and finished. Yesterday? Unbelievable! They didn't inform you of the correct interview day? They sent me an email to confirm on Tuesday, March 24th, but I didn't check it. I was too focused on preparing for the interview and didn't check my email. I'm so sorry about it. Did they give you another chance? No, Rachel. I need to wait until the next recruitment. Today is a bad day for me. I'm so sad and disappointed in myself. Don't be sad anymore, John. This is a lesson for you about carefulness. If you still want to be an employee of this company, I think you should study some skills relevant to your position to improve yourself. I believe that you will be hired the next time. Don't give up, John. Do you want to drink beer? It may help to reduce your stress right now. Great idea, Rachel. Thank you for your advice. Wedding Invitation Hello, Sarah. Long time no see, my friend. Hi, Kim. How long have you been waiting for me? I just arrived, too. What do you want to drink, Sarah? Black coffee and a little sugar. So, how have you been, Kim? I really had no information about you since you left the city and went to California. All is well. My new colleagues are very friendly and kind. The food in California is also great. If you have time, I will take you to the best restaurant near my house and enjoy the food here. How about you, Sarah? I want to tell you some good news now. Do you want to guess what it is? Yes. Let me see. You are promoted to department head in your company? No, Kim. You are wrong. Any answers? Please tell me now, Sarah. I am so curious. Here is for you, Kim. I and Jack got married and we will hold our wedding ceremony in June, the next month. <gasps> wow. I'm so surprised. Congratulations, Sarah. Will you arrive, Kim? I'm so glad if you come to my wedding. Of course. Let me see. On Saturday, June 25th. Wait. What is that, Kim? I'm so sorry, Sarah. I think I can't attend your wedding ceremony. I have a business trip in five days in New York from June 24th. So, I can't be on your wedding day. Oh no, that is so unlucky. I really want you to attend my wedding and be my bridesmaid. We can take some photos together and enjoy food later. I can't, Sarah. This business trip is very important to me. Yes, I know. No problem, Kim. Can we meet after your trip at my house? My husband and I will prepare a special party for you. 
We will make a lot of delicious foods and prepare good wine bottles. What do you feel about it? That's a great idea. I will definitely come with you right after the business trip ends. Ah, uh, Sarah, I will make a video call with you on your wedding day before you go to the ceremony. I want to see how beautiful my friend is. Is that okay? Yes, Kim. I'd love to. <laughs> okay. Let's talk more about your husband, Sarah. Okay, Kim. Would you like to do something? How to use would you? When we say, would you tell me the way to the station? Or, would you take me to King Street, please? We are asking a favor of someone, a polite request. Let's take a look at some situations where would you is used. Would you like to do something? Anne, are you free this weekend? Yes, I'm free. I just found a romantic movie. Would you like to watch this movie with me this Saturday? I love romantic movies. Which cinema are we going to watch? We will watch it at my home. Would you like it? Yes, I'd love to. Watching movies at home is very comfortable. Great. See you this Saturday morning. Call me before you come. Okay, see you. Good morning. Hi, Fiona. My mother and I made some cookies, so I bring them to you. Thank you. It must be so delicious. Come in. Make yourself at home. I will. Don't worry about me. I will prepare the beverage. Would you like some orange juice? Or would you like some coffee? Orange juice, please. Orange juice for you, coffee for me. Would you like some popcorn? Yes, please. If you watch a movie, you must have popcorn. I love popcorn. I made it. I hope you like it. We have... We have beverages, popcorn, and cookies. Let's start watching the movie. Let's start! I'm so excited! This actor is so handsome. The actress is pretty, too. The film's shot on location in Arizona. Right, and I hope this movie has a happy ending. Hello? Hi, I'm John from the Foreign Language Center. We have a new Spanish course to recommend to you, with many offers this month. Would you like to hear more about it? I am sorry, I just signed up for a French course. Thanks for calling. Who is calling? A salesman. I missed part of the movie. Why did they break up? They misunderstood each other. So she decided to study abroad and they broke up. I thought the film was great. It's a beautiful love story. Yes, the plot is wonderful. What time is it, Anne? It's 12 o'clock now. I'm so hungry. Would you like to eat something for lunch? How about pizza? Great! I have the phone number of a good pizzeria at a cheap price. Today is the weekend. After the meal, would you like to do something this afternoon, Fiona? It's hot today. I want to swim. Would you like to go swimming? Yes! 
Good idea. First, I'm going to call to order the pizza right now. Agree. I'm a bit hungry. Would you mind getting me the book? Sam, I want to go into the library to borrow a book. I hate the library and books. Please, Sam. Let's borrow the book you want and go home. I want to stay here for a bit. But I want to go home. Please, Sam. All right. Excuse me. Would you mind getting me this book? Sure. Thanks so much. Do you often come here to read books? I usually come on Saturday and Sunday to read. You must like reading books. I love books. Thank you for helping me. It was nothing. Would you mind if I sit here? Of course. Please go ahead. My name is Sam. What's your name? I'm Laura. Is your house nearby? Yes, I often walk to come here. Do you often come here to read books? Yes, but this is the first time I see you. Me too. Would you mind recommending to me a book to read? My pleasure. How about this book? I'll read it right now. Thank you. Will you come here tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow is Sunday. Me too. Where are you going, Sam? The library. I thought you hate libraries and books. Hi, Laura. The book you recommend is really good. I'm really attracted to it. I'm glad you like it. I really like that book. The books are actually more interesting than I thought. They're always. I found a wonderful book. Would you like to read it? What is the book about? It is the magical journey of Mark, a poor boy with big dreams. He met many people and learned many lessons. Sounds great. I want to read it. Hey, can I borrow books here? You need to apply for a library card here. I think you already have the card. No, I have not. Actually, I don't often go to the library before I meet you. Thanks to you. I realize that books are interesting. Really? Yes. What do you usually do in your free time if you don't read books? I will ride a bike or watch movies. So, would you like to watch a movie with me tonight? Yes, I'm free tonight. <laughs> English conversations for office staff. Room reservation. Dialogue one. Linda, have you reserved accommodation in England? Yes, I have reserved a premium room at the Stratford Hotel. My schedule has been changed. I want to stay at the Hilton Hotel. Is it essential to reserve a room in Hilton Hotel? Yes, reserve a twin room for the twelfth and thirteenth. Is there anything special you're looking for? The shower room with a wonderful outlook. 
Okay, I've already jotted them down. Dialogue 2 I'd like to book a twin room for the 20th to the 23rd. There are no twin rooms available on those dates. Would you want a double room? No. Are there any single rooms available? Yes. The cost of a room per night is $50. Does this price include breakfast? Yes. The above price includes breakfast. How many nights will you be staying? I'll be staying for three nights. Okay. Now what name will the reservation be listed under? And is there a phone number where you can be contacted? My name is James, and my cell phone number is 511-125-6545. Booking Tickets Dialogue 1 Hello, this is an airline ticket booking office. Hello, I'd like to reserve a flight to Tokyo. Okay, could you please give me the date of the tickets you want? The earliest one for the day after tomorrow, the 7th of March. Okay, that is flight MJ123. Will you tell me the departure time of flight MJ123? Flight MJ-123 departs at 6.30 a.m. It's a non-stop flight. Dialogue 2 Is that you, Mr. Edward? Oh, hello! Wow, can you recognize my voice? Of course. You are our loyal customer. Where are you going this time? I'll be in Seoul on Tuesday. Is it the 25th? Right. Is there a ticket price reduction? Just a moment, please. The flight departs at 10 p.m. and 20% discount for loyal customers. Okay, I'll make a reservation for it. A single business class ticket? Yes, I will be there by myself. I've already reserved it for you. Thanks. Receiving and sending a fax. Dialogue 1. Hello, Green Life Company. Hello, this is Lux Business. I want to fax documents to your company. Can you please tell me whom you will send it to? I want to fax to the sales manager. So, how many pages does it have? There are 20 pages total, including the title page. Okay, please wait for me for some minutes. I'll see whether there's enough paper. Okay. You can send documents to me now. Dialogue 2 Is that the ABC company? Yes, Andy speaking. How can I help you? My name is Linda, and I'd like to send a fax to your firm. Could you tell me how many pages it has? There is a total of ten pages. Please wait a moment. I need to prepare the printing paper. Please forward the fax to Mr. Brown. Okay, the transmission is stable. Send it. Mm -hmm. 
Word processing. Dialogue 1. Do you have any free time, Mary? Oh, I'm pretty free. What's up? Speech should be done word processing. What does it require? All numbers should be italicized, and the title should be bigger in font size. Is there anything else? Could you kindly double space it so that I may make changes? Sure. When is the deadline for this manuscript? I want it done today. I'll try to finish it by 3 p.m. this afternoon and submit it to you. Great! Thanks in advance! Dialogue 2 Could you please write this report for me, Lucy? Obviously. Could I have it by 13 o'clock? I'm going to need it this afternoon. It shouldn't be an issue if I do it right now. Good. Please use the laser printer to print it. Okay. Do you want this report done in a formal or informal style? Formal style. I got it. I will send it to you as soon as I finish. Using Photocopier Dialogue 1 Could you possibly duplicate this contract for me, Susan? Yes, sir. I will do it now. How many copies do you require? Please make ten copies. By the way, can you increase the font size to 14? If the font is increased to 14, the number of pages will be more. Okay, just keep the font size 13, and remember to use A4 paper. I remember, sir. By the way, staple them for me. I see. Dialogue 2 Why isn't the copy machine working, Lucy? I'm not sure, because it was okay just now. Let me check it. When I press the button, there is no reaction. <gasps> oh, the copier is out of ink. How did you find out? On the tiny screen, Add Toner is displayed. Ugh, how foolish of me. I didn't pay attention to that. You are indeed an expert in this field. <laughs> I only know a little bit. Computer Problems Dialogue 1 I'm having problems with my computer. Crashed again. Isn't the processor a Pentium? It is a Pentium 4 processor. You can utilize it quite well if you add extra RAM. What word processing software do you use? I'm using Microsoft Word. I think almost everyone uses it. That is not always the case. I am using LaTeX word processing software. I've never heard of it. I think you should switch to Microsoft Word software like me. It takes up little space and is easy to use. Dialogue 2 My computer isn't working. 
Tell me what the problem is. I've tried several times, but my computer won't turn on. Try checking the connections. What connections? There are cords that connect your computer to a power outlet. Is that why it won't turn on? It won't turn on if the cords aren't connected. I'll try it right now. Tell me if it's still not working. File management. Dialogue one. Hello there, Jessica. I'm Amy. I'm the new secretary. Hello. What can I assist you with? Mr. Brown mentioned that you were good at file management. Therefore, I'd want to speak with you on it. Okay. Do you know about our company's file management system? Yes, I did take a training class before beginning employment in this office. Do you know what the essence of filing is? The purpose of filing is to collect all materials pertaining to a specific subject in a single folder or file. That's what we mean by one client, one file. Dialogue 2 Could you help me file these reports on my behalf? Yes. Should they be filed in ascending alphabetical order? Oh, I haven't sorted the names alphabetically. All right. I'll edit this report for you. Thank you. And remember to make two copies of this report. Yes, I intend to do so. And remember to copy all documents in the old file. I remember. When do you anticipate it to be completed? Before the following Monday. Oh, thanks for helping me. <laughs> Staff training. Dialogue 1. Mary, I will assist you in becoming acquainted with your work. Oh, thank you very much. That's your desk, right next to the window. This seating position is too good. I can see the city at my leisure. Is that my laptop? That's right, and there's a printer right there. What is my responsibility? Your primary responsibility is to answer phone calls and forward them to the appropriate person. What if the person wanted is out? In that scenario, you must request that the caller leave a message. I get what you mean. Is there anything else I need to do? It is your responsibility to keep all files organized. Dialogue 2 David, please allow me to present you to each department in our firm. You are really kind. Thank you very much. There's the Quality Control Division. Next to it is the Advertising Department. How about the Human Resources Department? It is located on the third floor. The financial room is also on the third floor. Is the President's office also on the third floor? It's located separately on the fourth floor. How much and how many? How much and how many? are used very often when we go shopping every day. 
Today we will learn how to use these two questions while shopping in the grocery stores and at the supermarket. At the grocery store. Good morning. Good morning. May I help you? Yes, please. I would like some eggs, bread, and milk. How many eggs do you want? Two dozen eggs, please. And for bread? Two loaves of bread. How much milk would you like? Three cartons of milk, please. Okay. Is there anything else that you need? Hmm. Do you have sausages? Yes, we have. We have these two types: pork and beef. Which one do you want? I will take the beef. How many packs do you want? Two packs, please. Anything else? Hmm. A bar of peanut butter and pepper powder, please. Is that everything? How much is this chocolate box? It looks great. It's fifty-five dollars a box. Fifty-five dollars? Well, that's expensive, though. We have a smaller version here if you want to try it out. How much is this one? It's twelve dollars. Well then, I will take the smaller one. Okay. Anything else that you like? No, that's all. How much is it for all? It's fifty-nine dollars and seventy cents. Do you need a bag? Yes, I do. Then sixty dollars, please. Okay. Here is my card. Please enter the pin. Okay. Here is your receipt. Thanks for shopping with us today. You're welcome. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Buying vegetables. Excuse me. Hi. How can I help you? I would like to buy some tomatoes, but there are only three tomatoes left. Do you have more tomatoes? Ah,、uh, I will fill up stocks. But how many tomatoes do you need? I need four pounds. Okay. Is there anything else you need? I need some mushrooms too, but there is only a little bit left. Can you fill it up also, please? Sure. Please wait a moment. I will be right back. Here you are. Thanks a lot. Not at all. By the way, could you help me find spring onion and basil? I can't find it. It's over here. Thank you. How much spring onion and basil do you need? I can help you take it. I just need a little bit for the broth. Okay, I think this is enough. Thanks. Is there anything else I can help with? I would like to buy some broccoli. We are having a discount on broccoli if you buy from three. How many heads of broccoli do you need? Great. I need four heads. Okay. Anything else? No, that's all. Okay. Let me weigh everything for you. Thanks a lot for your help. You are welcome. Return goods. Hello. How do you do? Hello. How may I help you? I want to return some goods that I bought from your supermarket. Oh, what's wrong with them? They are out of date. Really? 
How many products are out of date? There is three. Do you bring them here? Yes, I do. Here they are. Please take a look. Okay. Do you still keep the receipt? Yes, I do. Here it is. Let me check. Yeah, they are out of date. I really apologize for your inconvenience. There must be a mistake with our inventory management. So, can I get a refund? Yes, of course. How much are these products? Hmm. I'm not sure. Can you check in the receipt? Okay. It's nine dollars in total. Here is your money. Thank you. You're welcome. Once again, we are really sorry for the problem that you had. We hope you will continue shopping with us. Okay. Have a great day. Goodbye. You have a nice day too. Goodbye. How to use how many and how much? We use how many with countable nouns. For example, how many people are there in your family? We use how much with uncountable nouns. For example, how much money do you spend on clothes a month? How much is also used to ask for price. For example, how much is this coat? What is your desired weight? Everyone wants to have a perfect body. Let's watch this video and see what the characters expect from their weight. Go to the gym. Hello? Are you Kevin? I had registered for a gym course and the staff asked me to meet you and talk about my training route. Yes, I am Kevin, a fitness trainer here. Could you tell me your name, please? My name is Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me what your goal was when you started going to the gym? Hmm, I feel like I'm too skinny right now. I am 5 feet 9 inches tall, but only 121 pounds. I really want to improve my weight. I see. So, which weight are you desiring? I think it may be 143 pounds. What do you think about it? It is a reasonable weight with your height. Also, you absolutely can gain that weight if you follow the exercise plan that I will set out now. I hope so, Kevin. By the way, which days of the week did you register to practice? Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Okay, Mark, you are a newbie and want to gain weight. You should do exercise for chest, shoulders, back, arms on Monday and Friday. And you will do back exercises, buckets, forearms, shins, on Tuesday. I will show you specific exercises for each muscle in the next training session. We have a full range of equipment for training. Okay, Kevin. Do you have any advice for my diet? Yes, of course. You should eat plenty of vegetables and protein-rich foods. They are very good for your process. To gain weight, calories consumed are lower than calories taken in. Because of that, you should eat several meals a day in combination with exercise. I got it, Kevin. Oh, how about the foods which I shouldn't eat? Fast food, 
alcoholic drinks and carbonated drinks. You should only use them a little. Okay, Coven. I will start practicing there next week. I have to go out now, so see you later. Bye, Mark. Obesity makes me so tired. Oh, Lucas, do you also exercise here today? Hi, James. I jog here every day. How long have you been running today? I will rest a bit. So, do you want to? Actually, I'm going to take a break too. Okay, let's talk for a bit. Do you want to drink water, James? Yes, I'm quite thirsty. Thanks, Lucas. So, James, do you often run in this park? Today is my first day running here. I used to go to the gym before, but my gym pass just expired, so I came here to practice. Oh, I got it. So, how do you feel when you practice outside? Exercise outside is much more comfortable than indoors. The air is fresh, and there are so many people out there. You're right, James. That's why I love jogging in the park every day. Oh, Lucas, you seem to be practicing very hard. Yes, James. I need to exercise hard to lose weight. I went to the hospital, and the doctors advised me to lose weight immediately to ensure health. Is it really that serious? Yes, it is. I feel my body is very heavy and quite hard to move before. The doctor even warned me that my blood fat was quite high. It can be very dangerous to my health. <gasps> oh, I see. So. After a period of practice, do you see an improvement in your health? Yes, of course, James. I find myself becoming more flexible and healthy. More importantly, my weight has dropped quite significantly. I'm happy to hear that, Lucas. Congratulations. So, what is your desired weight? Hmm, I went from 198 pounds to 165 pounds. I've always wanted to be 143 pounds. I will try to maintain regular exercise combined with a reasonable diet. Hope you achieve your goal soon. I think we should continue running. It's quite late now. Okay, and thank you, James. Daily English Conversation Topics How many kinds of pollution are there? Do you feel the air is getting more polluted day by day? Ugh, exactly! I'm afraid it is more serious. It's very serious now. We can see pollution clearly whenever we go out. I've heard some information about some kind of pollution in the news. How many kinds of pollution are there? There is a lot of pollution, but I think air pollution is the most popular. I also know about soil pollution, water pollution. That's right. Anyway, all kinds of pollution affect us and other species. 
Yes, they impact our health the most. Air pollution can cause many respiratory diseases. This is the reason why I always wear face masks when I go out. Me too. What is the most impressive building you visited? Do you know some famous buildings in the world? Yes, I know some, but for what? Ah, I am searching for my assignment about buildings, but I don't know much about it. I have visited some. What is the most impressive building you visited? For me, the best one is Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. Is it a hotel? It's a business complex. Wow, it makes me extremely surprised about its architecture. How? I saw it when I had a trip to Singapore with my family. I was overwhelmed because it is very big and modern. It's great. It consists of three towers. Really? You can search for its pictures on the internet. Okay. I will search for it now. What kinds of electronic media is popular in your country? Are you reading online news? Yeah. Why don't you use television to watch the news? I prefer reading online. It's more convenient. I got it. In my country. I see television as a popular kind of electronic media. Television is popular all over the world. Yes. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? I think we are the same. We use television also. Do you have another type? Yes. Sometimes, I see some people use the radio. So do we. But radio is used more in the past in my country. I agree. Or anything that can connect to the internet also helps you update the news. For example, smartphones, laptops, iPad. You are using your smartphone to read the news. That's right. What is your desired job? What career will you choose after graduating? I'm not sure. What is your desired job? I used to want to become a fashion designer. Why did you choose this university? While your dream is to be a fashion designer, my parents want me to have a stable job, as an accountant. So, I chose economics. Ah.、Uh, I got your point. So my dream job cannot come true. I think you can't waste four years studying at university, right? I am looking for an intern job as an accountant in a company, and I have an interview tomorrow. Good luck to you. Thanks. I will try my best. What is your favorite TV program? What are you doing? I am waiting for my favorite program. What is your favorite TV program? The Amazing Race. Oh, I know it. It's fun. Exactly. And many countries also have this program. I know, but I still watch the American version. What time does it start? Fifteen minutes later. Can I watch with you? Of course. Come here. I have watched some episodes, but these days I haven't had time to continue. I always spend time watching it. It helps you relax, right? Right. A lot of fun. I have always loved reality programs. 
Me too. What law do you like? I have seen a traffic accident between a car and a motorbike. Oh, what happened? I don't know, but I think because the car didn't follow the traffic light. Did he run a red light? Yes. Oh dear, people should follow the law. What law do you like? Traffic law. It helps people to be safe when driving. But some people still ignore these laws. Right, and they cause accidents. I hope everyone obeys the laws, and has a responsibility when driving. If everyone does that, we will be safe. What outdoor activity do you participate in? What will you do this weekend? I'm not sure. Maybe I will watch a movie at home. Really? Why don't you go out and enjoy some outdoor activities? I'm so tired. Do you like outdoor activities? Of course. What outdoor activity do you participate in? I do a lot, but my favorite one is playing badminton. Great. Where do you usually play? There is a badminton court in the park. I usually play there. Who usually plays with you? My brother. He is very good at playing badminton. That sounds fun, right? After playing it, you will feel relaxed. I think I will participate in some activities to release stress. You should do that. You can go jogging. Really? Yes. I see Anna goes jogging very often when I play badminton at the park. Chris and his fish. Dad, where are the fishes? They're under the river. Why haven't we caught any fish yet? I think the fish are hiding. Dad, what's wrong, son? I think I caught a fish. Good job, son. It has orange white stripes and small. He's so cute and looks like Nemo. He'll be my pet. Let's give him a name. How about Doxy? It's good. Shall we go to the store to buy food and a tank for Doxy? Of course. Why don't we go now? Yeah, I have a pet. My fish, Doxy. The oldest brother. Good morning, Jonathan. Hi, Miss Fiona. Are you mowing the lawn? Yes. House chores. Today is the weekend. You don't go out with your friends. Today is a day for my brother and sister. What are your plans for the weekend? My brother doesn't know how to play tennis, so I'll show him. And play the piano with my sister. You're a great oldest brother. Not really. I feel lucky to have siblings. You must love your brother and sister very much. I need to go to the supermarket. Happy weekend, Jonathan. Goodbye, Fiona. A successful trade. What's your lunch today? My mother just learned to make Korean food. She made a kimbap for me.
Wow, I've never eaten it before. Really, I'm tired of eating it. Why, it looks delicious. Since my mom just learned how to make kimbap, she made a lot this weekend. I ate a lot, and now... Would you like to exchange lunch with me? Good idea. What's your lunch? Chicken salad sandwich. <gasps> oh, I love it. Exchange? Okay, deal. Great! Making a snowman. Daniel, do you want to build a snowman? Okay, let's make a snowman together. Yeah! First, we need to roll a large ball of snow. Okay, let's do it! Now, we roll a small ball of snow for the snowman's head. Let's put it on top of the large ball of snow. One, two, three. We need a carrot for the snowman's nose and buttons for the eyes. And two branches for two hands. I'll find a carrot and buttons. I'll find branches. Okay. Perfect. English skills. Why do you look so sad? My English reading test score is very bad. It's okay. Let's find solutions to improve your English reading skill. What should I do? Read more English books? Sometimes there are words in books that I don't understand. You highlight the word, then look it up in the dictionary, and read the passage again. Thanks, Victor. I'll go to the bookstore to buy some English books. Good job. I want to get good results in the next English reading exam. Practicing drawing. I heard you signed up for a class over the weekend. Yes, I registered to study at a center. What class is that? A drawing class. You must be very fond of drawing. Yes, I love drawing. Can you draw portraits? Yes, I can. My teacher shows me new things. I know how to draw people, animals, and objects now. In the future, you will be a talented artist. I hope so, but now I always want to get better, so I practice every day. A day for ice cream. It's too hot outside. A hot summer day. It seems to be 98 degrees. I took a shower twice this morning, but now I still feel hot. I wish it rained. I wish it was winter. Have you turned on the air conditioner yet? I already turned on it. I guess I have to take a shower again 
or jump into the pool. Ah, uh, I have an idea. What idea? Let's go to the ice cream parlor. That's right. Let's go, Dad. Today is a day for ice cream. Messing up. What a beautiful sunny day. Oh no, B. Oh my God, it's over. This is mom's favorite dress. Andy, what are you doing? I'm washing clothes. We have a washing machine. Why do you wash your clothes by hand? Because I accidentally spilled coffee on it. Let me help. I can do it myself. That is, it's your dress. I bought it for the party this weekend. The dress is so beautiful. Now look at it. How did you? Calm down, Mom. I'll fix it. Taking tests. Do you have a test tomorrow? Yes. Why don't you study for tomorrow's test? After this cartoon ends, I will. Okay, remember that. The previous cartoon has ended. This is another cartoon, right? Yes, Mom. Go to your room and study. You have promised. Okay, Mom. The book makes me sleepy. I'll study after reading this comic book. <gasps> oh no, I fell asleep. I still haven't studied anything for today's test. This question is too difficult. I should have studied instead of watching TV and reading a comic book. <laughs> Helen is busy. <laughs> Helen, Andrew's house has a pool party tonight. He invited me there. Do you want to go with me? No, I need to study for tomorrow's test. It's Andrew's party, my handsome friend. Not today. Good luck with tomorrow's test. This is a cake I just made. Taste it. Mom, I'm studying. I'll taste it when I finish studying. I made it for you. Okay. How does it taste? It's good. Now I need quiet time to study. Okay. Do you think this tie is right for me? Yes. You're right. Helen is busy. Do not disturb. <laughs> Introducing myself. to be a member of your soccer team. Have you played soccer before? Not yet, but... 
Why do you want to play soccer? Because our team is full. Wait, let me introduce myself. You have two minutes. I'm Eden Henry. I moved here two weeks ago. I haven't joined any soccer team before, but I love soccer. The first time when I watched you guys play, I was impressed. Give me a chance to join you guys in bringing victory to our school. I'll practice hard. I promise. Welcome to our team. Thank you. A long wait. I want to ride the roller coaster. Agree. I also like thrilling games. Go there and buy tickets. Ah, oh, no, so crowded. That means that this is a game that is loved by a lot of people. By queuing like this is very time-consuming. It's worth a try. All right. Today is Saturday. That's why this place is very crowded. Hey, do you know how to play this game? Let me show you. This game is fun, and we're still here waiting. <sighs> What a long wait! The teacher takes away his phone. Don't yawn anymore. Her lecture is boring. I can't focus. I find it very interesting. So leave me alone. Focus on your interesting lecture. Of course. And don't yawn. That makes me lose interest. Hey. What? Don't use your phone while studying. The teacher won't be happy. Leave me alone, please. What's up? <gasps> What are you doing? Nothing. You know the rule: no phone in my class. Yes, teacher. After class, come to see me and get your phone back. Yes, teacher. English conversation practice. There are forty lessons covering common topics in real life communication. Please watch the video to improve your English listening and speaking skills. Topic: School and family. Where is your homework? Did you finish it? That literature homework. What homework? Are you confused about another subject? I don't remember. We have literature homework. Come on, we had to read a book and then write a two hundred word essay about it. Really? Why can't I remember anything? And I don't think that Mrs. Jones assigned us any exercise. In my notebook, I always jot down what we need to accomplish. Did she actually say we have to write an essay? Yes. Look at this. It's my essay. See? Oh my goodness! What do I have to do now? We barely have five minutes before class begins. If you're lucky, Mrs. Jones will let you file it tomorrow. Can you help me, please? Let me copy your essay. 
I'll make a few changes and Mrs. Jones will never find out. No, I can't. That's cheating. Oh, please, we're friends. Just help me this one time. No, because you are my best friend. That's why I won't allow you to plagiarize my work. It's not the right thing to do. Topic. After school activities. Will you participate in any sports this year? I'd like to play hockey. However, I'm not sure whether I'll have enough time. How about you? I'm a member of the school soccer team. I'm also going to learn to swim. You're going to be on the soccer team as well as swim? Yeah, right? Hmm, you'll be really busy. I can arrange the time. And you, Tom, what will you do in your spare time? I'll play badminton with my school team. A badminton is an interesting sport. Peter, you join so many sports clubs when you're going to have time to finish your homework. Every day after school, I complete my homework. And when are you going to study? Every weekend I study. Me too. And I'll finish my homework before going out to play sports. Yeah, my mother won't let me play sports until I've done it. I hope you have enough time for schoolwork and sports. Good luck. Topic. Arts and Crafts Class Hello, Mom. I've returned from Arts and Crafts Class. Take a look at what I'm wearing. You're dressed in a blue t-shirt and pants. Sure, but what else am I dressed in? Hmm... Oh, those earrings are lovely. I did it in one hour. Is that what you're learning to make in arts and crafts class this week? Yes, right? This week we're learning how to make jewelry out of beads. These beads are so pretty. That's right. In the craft class, there are many different types of beads. From beads to pearls, crystals. Then, we select our favorite beads and color them. String them on a clear plastic string. That sounds really fun. Right? Really funny. Today I made earrings and Tom made a pearl necklace for his sister. Mom, guess what? <gasps> What did you do for me? I also made you a set of earrings. Black pearl earrings. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Thank you, my dear. I am planning to build a necklace next week, and I'll give that necklace to my sister, Linda. Topic, Grandfather's Birthday. Mom, I have this for you to see. What is it, honey? It sounds so secretive. Today we received the results of our English test. I received the highest grade in my class. <gasps> oh, Billy, I'm very happy with the result of the test. You deserve it because you studied so hard. Thank you, Mom. I'm starving. What are you having for dinner? 
Oh, I'm not cooking dinner today because we're going to the restaurant for dinner. Why do we have dinner at a restaurant? Honey, do you still remember that today is your grandfather's birthday? Oh my, I've forgotten. I don't have anything for grandpa's birthday. Don't worry, I bought a present for him. Is there enough time to make a card for grandpa? We still have time. Let's make a beautiful card for grandpa. Anyway, your English test results are a good gift for your grandfather. Will the party tonight be full of family members? Yeah, tonight's birthday will be attended by the entire family. All of your aunts, uncles, and cousins will be there. Great, I haven't seen the whole family in quite some time. You'll get to see them tonight. Now hurry up, start making cards. When do we go to the restaurant? 6 p.m. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.